Hello and welcome to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forens here playing as Holland. So, our goal for this episode is probably to attack Brabant. Not to take any lands, or maybe take one province, but force them to release Liege because they are a major threat to us being right on our border. We have all the other provinces needed to form the Netherlands. Except for Breda. So even if we just took Breda, we could form the Netherlands, which would give us permanent claims on the rest of the Netherlands. Plus we get the Netherlands government. We can call both England and Denmark into the war. I'm going to. Our goal is to take Breda. Hopefully we win this. We outnumber them significantly, so I suspect the war will go in our favor. Plus, I'm going to raise war taxes. Let's get some more money. Hopefully they are dumb enough to march into my lands, which I think they are. Yes. So I'm going to counterattack, or rather not counterattack, I'm going to just outright attack. Um, we have a... Huh? How did we lose that? I guess they have more count... I don't know how we lost that, to be honest. Okay. That was sad, to be honest. Um, let's raise another unit of troops because we need something on the fields. We will take the Diplotech so we actually have really good naval leaders now. England has arrived so the war is over. Um, I just really needed England here to fight the war for me. Uh, Denmark King died. Let's get another royal marriage. England is a heretic religion, but we are kin, apparently, is helping us. Uh, don't... See, here's the problem. If you want to march down the coast, it says, because this is a march, let's just go through Utrecht, which is not really efficient in the scheme of things. Um... Okay. We are sieging this though. I cannot barrage. Okay. England is here. Denmark is here. Um, Munster. I, I just want Munster out of the war. I don't really care what they get up to. Let's see what I can get from a peace deal. If I take Breda, it does offend people. If I take Antwerp, it offends just about as many people. If I force them to release Liege and then take Breda, still offends a lot of people. Okay. Well, we'll let the war drag on then. Because you can get lower aggressive expansion because I'm in a war. Um, during a war, which doesn't make a lot of sense. In some ways, if they really wanted to stop people from you know conquering the world, they'd make it so that, well, at war, your aggressive expansion doesn't go down. Because it really shouldn't while you're at war. But anyway. Munster will get pieced out reasonably fast. I don't want any of their land. Um, I just want money, honestly. And then Breda should be easily taken and overrun. And uh, we'll wait five years or so so we can get Breda. And then once we tech up to tech 10, we can form the Netherlands. But then we will leave the HRE. So actually, we don't want to just yet. Um, but I'd like the land needed to form the HRE if we want to. Um, yeah. Although, considering the emperor of the HRE is Austria again, that is a slight issue. Should probably start improving relations with them again. Other they are involved in that Ottoman war. Speaking of the Ottoman war. Ottomans are barely winning it. Poland's out of manpower. Ottomans are out of manpower. Lithuania has manpower. There's Austria. Austria still has manpower. Um, we'll see. We have Transylvania, interestingly enough. Uh, Munster's out of the war. That's good. Happily take that little bit of cash. Antwerp is occupied. Nice. We still have a couple, probably a year, year, a couple of years to wait before we make peace. But look at this. They've got what four forts in like five provinces. 
<laughs> no wonder Brabant is struggling with money problems. Even the AI can't handle that issue. It's kind of amusing. Um, even the AI can't cheat that much. We're not really making any money, but we're not losing any. So there is that. Uh, we need to explore more of the Caribbean, I think. Caribbean Sea, yep. Dominica is slowly colonizing. 40 a year. Wasn't expecting much considering we didn't go native repressment or repressing natives, but it'd be nice slightly faster. And can we all give a round of applause for Denmark, of all people? Denmark is so far the best ally we could ask for. They are willing to fight our wars. They're able to fight our wars. They've been able to survive Poland, of all people. Um, no, not willing to do peace yet. We want to make it at least one more year. Of course, we're having to pay for upkeeps of the forts, which are costing us money. Not good. 100% um, war score. We don't really care about Munster. Cause, ah, that's not what we wanted. Um, try to convert all of them. We could technically call Oldenburg to the war. I don't really want to. Um... I want Breda, but I also wouldn't mind Antwerp. That would be, what, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 possible people in a coalition versus me. If I did this one, um, people need more taxes. Uh, how much are we looking at? Significantly more. Um, we can humiliate them. We can take that, and we can force money, right? This is probably what we're going to do. We just don't want to do it just yet. We want to improve relations with... Oh, actually, Bremen, Verdun can't attack us. Um, let's look this over. Who else is a threat? The Platinate. Um, let's improve relations with them. If we can get that up so they don't join, I think we're good. Plus every month that go every year that goes by we we're we're better off, so Ah, they actually did manage to take some land. Cool. Aggressive expansion will go down another two. I kinda like to make it for another year, but I don't think I can pull that off. Ooh, that's not good for Denmark. The Count's Feud is a nasty event. Nasty, nasty, nasty event. We're lucky in a sense that even though we are going to be able to be tolerant of other Catholic religions, that we've managed to avoid actually having to have any of it thanks to that wonderful Civil War disaster. Um, I'm going to do production efficiency, I think. Oh, I should have done, should have done um, colonists, ten percent more colonists. Okay, we're gonna get the Platinate to a positive opinion of us. Gain some inflation, unfortunately. England's in a golden era now. England's also Anglican, which is kind of cool. Uh, Calais can no longer be part of the realm. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know that. Um, we don't have any war exhaustion ticking up, which is nice. So technically, we can just maintain the state for several more years um, until it says people want peace. This will also give us a chance to have our armies and England's help Denmark over their Count's Feud disaster, which is a really awful one. Plus seven unrest. Uh, what else do we need to do? We're getting prestige. Um, 
We want that. We don't really care about that. We're actually doing unbelievably well for Monarch points. I am honestly surprised that I'm ahead of tech and everything and still getting idea groups. It's kind of ridiculous because we haven't had good Monarchs. I guess because I haven't had to dev, dev any provinces. It's strange. It's just really weird. Um... I can't switch the focus though for another three years. When I can, we're gonna swatch it, swap it to admin. We also want to, if possible, fire our air. Cause she sucks. Um, she's really, really not that good of an air. Um, Cologne, I think. Revolting Grongin. Okay, Can we boost Cologne. Oh, we already are boosting Cologne's opinion. Um, who else? Uh, Tree? No, we want someone to distance away. Mains, mains, mains. Mains is huge. Wow. I think that's the largest mains I've seen for quite some while. Oh, refuse to extend rights has been penalized. Um, 101. Um, loses loyalty. We're now looking at a revolt from them. Um, we're going to have to revoke land from them, which is a problem because they're gaining way too much influence over us. 100 or greater. Great. Okay. Uh, cancel that. How'd they get so much influence anymore? Because all their provinces were taken a lost in the war. I guess just events have conspired against me. Okay, I'll have to revoke this province from them, which is going to suck because of the revolt, but uh, we're going to have to strip them of pretty much all their power for like 30 years or more just to rebuild the country. It's going to be awful. Okay, we've managed to kick them out of every province except Vondoran. Um, which we will work on next. Oh, we can't get there. Okay. Maybe we leave them with one province. Yeah, I, I guess we just leave them with a province. Okay. Uh, next year, we should be able to take provinces from Breda and stuff. Depending on how things go, we might even be able to take two provinces, but 20. Mm. I don't want to be risky again and fight another coalition war. That would be very, very, very painful. So probably better to be safe than sorry. Zero loyalty. Ay, ay, ay. 25, though. We've, we've reigned in their influence, which really is what we needed. Um, that is a slight issue with rebels in their land, though. Um, let's see what we can do about that. Uh, let's take off humiliation. Let's say I want two provinces. Nope. <laughs> um... Breda gives us the Netherlands, but we don't want the Netherlands yet. We want Antwerp. So we're actually going to not take Breda. We'll take Antwerp. Actually, no. We will take Breda because it doesn't offend as many people. And then we will humiliate. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to come back to beat up Brabant. Again, as it is, forcing Liege to be released should turn the tides against them. For now. Um, we've got income. They've been reduced to a two-province nation. We can attack them again in 15 years and probably kill them, so long as we don't attack anyone else. Uh, we can form the Netherlands once we core Breda. We don't want to, obviously. Okay. Um, that worked out better than I thought it would. Seriously, better than I thought it would. St 
still, because we have unlawful territory, we still have a penalty there. Um, I'll keep boosting our allies' opinion. Actually, our allies' opinions are fine for now. It's unfortunate. No, which means we're going to have to boost autonomy and Breda just to control it. Stupid uh, Austrians at this point. Um, I should probably improve relations with Austria, because they hate us right now. <sighs> Delightful fun, huh? Um, we're going to take mercantilism. We've gotten quite a few bonuses towards that. 63% of our income is trade. Interest is the problem, though. Um, I might mothball forts just so I make money. Yeah. Well, the other problem, obviously, is that we have negative 10 trade efficiency because we have unhappy burgers. But we do have a colony started. Um, yeah, Portugal is snagging all the good provinces. Ugh. Well, I guess we'll pick up the Dutch ones. We'll go for Caracal. We'll go for Jamaica. Actually, we should probably try and get Cuba if we can. Um, we just want a colonial nation. We don't necessarily want to dominate the whole area. Ooh, 10% prestige. That was really nice of England. That was really nice of England. Got 11 troops. We still are holding army professionalism. We're still punching above our belt weight. We're at 160 almost, development. We have actually functioning cannons now. <laughs> that is the tech. Tech 10, where you actually get good cannons. Finally. Um, one year, and then we can do change national focus. Once the unlawful territory penalty disappears, which is not going to be for a while. Um... Oh, England's got a ton of money. So, boy, yeah. where did they discover? Oh, we don't know where they discovered that. Uh, we probably want to get a conquistador going at some point um, to get all those nice exploration events. Can we afford one? We can. Let's get a conquistador on the field. Um, oh, that's going to really weaken my army, isn't it? Uh, that might just be the way it goes. I'll send two units. Two units should be fine. One conquistador. Pretty good general, too. Um, load on ship. I'll ship the ship to my colony first, and then we'll move on from there. Might as well get that nice... Admin power, gold, and events from colonizing. Um, well, we can. We did humiliate our rivals, so we are getting more power points in global trade, which is also very nice. One more idea until we get exploration. And next year, we'll focus admin. Get that all going. Oh, they made it to Dominica. That was fast. Okay. Um, to Venezuela. We'll start in Venezuela. Oh! It helps if I actually take the unit with me. Um, okay. Let's hunt for the seven cities of gold. I'm going to return you to Europe because you're my actual combat navy. <laughs> and uh, these guys can't explore anything until that colony's done. Then they're going to have tons to explore. The Caribbean will be their oyster for exploration. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to focus. Oh, sh <laughs> we're definitely gonna have to focus admin power as I get an event that costs me admin power. Dominica has been done. Um, 
Let's go with 7, 10, 11. We'll go for Cuba. Why not? I could expel a minority, but I kind of don't really want to expel a minority. I mean, I could. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. We'll think about it. Um, explore Atlantic South America and finish off exploration ideas, which will allow me to do the Naval Secrecy Act, which morale of spies, naval detection. Since we have nothing else, we will implement it. That will be the end of this episode. So thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this slow, slow, slow rebuild of the Dutch. And we will focus into admin again. And uh, we're slowly getting some loyalty from the burgers again. And we're going to be tolerant of other Christians in a little bit. And we can attack Brabant in 13 years. So that's what we will probably do in 13 years. Unless we go after Geltry, which... Uh, suspicious of. So thank you guys all for watching. Bye for now.